This video tutorial is the first part of a two-part series that demonstrates the use of the topology optimization capability available in Workbench Mechanical. This capability allows you to create superior geometry designs. The topology optimization analysis can be used in combination with either a modal or static structural system. Using a structural or a modal system, the topology optimization system optimizes the design through the solution process. The optimized design can then be validated in a downstream system. For this video, we cover optimizing a structural system. Here is the model in mechanical. The structural system has been defined and solved. A uniform mesh is recommended to ensure equal distribution of the loading conditions. Let's look at the topology optimization system. The topology optimization analysis automatically defines certain properties and inserts default objects. The optimization region, response constraint, and objective objects are inserted automatically. The optimization region specifies the design region of the model that you wish to optimize, the central rotor component in this case, and the exclusion region, as highlighted in red. The response constraint object specifies the optimization constraints. For this problem, the percentage of mass to retain on the design region. The objective object defines topology optimization goals. Here we have chosen to minimize the compliance, which is the same as saying that we want to maximize the structural stiffness. Notice that the worksheet is displayed when the objective object is selected. In cases involving multiple load steps, this worksheet is used to apply different weights to different load steps. The manufacturing constraint is an optional object. You use this object to specify manufacturing limitations, such as the member size shown here. The topology density tracker object is a child of the solution information object. It's inserted automatically, and it enables you to view the iteration-based solution progression of your optimized design, as shown here. Also during the solution, you can select the solution information object to view the progress of different solution elements. You can track, monitor, or diagnose problems that arise during the solution, as well as view certain finite element aspects of the model. The topology density result object displays results. The slider of the retained threshold property enables you to view and change the optimized topology. Note that threshold changes change the design. Lower values are for conservative designs and high values more aggressive. The show optimized region property shows a graphical view of the retained region, removed region, or all regions. The topology result property of the solution object specifies the density result to be used in the validation. You can change the result as needed. Validation is covered in the second part of this video series.